What's up, my boy? George Perez right here of George Perez Stories, episode 306. George Perez Stories is brought to you by JB's Tree Service Landscape and Installation. Look, everybody, if you need a tree chopped down, if you got a homeless people living in your tree because it's all huge, JB's Tree Service will come down, chop the tree down. They got tree removal, stump removal, irrigation, landscaping, like full land. Like they don't just come mow your lawn. They'll come mow your lawn. They'll take all like the, the if you got plants, they'll cut all the dead stuff off of it. Itolo. JB's Tree Service, landscape and installation. Give them a call. They'll give you a free estimate. Instagram, JMB. A R R I O S one two. Episode three oh five, man. I'm um I'm super excited. Episode three oh six, everybody, man. Like I'm super excited. Like I, I think I just stuttered it. If they didn't edit it out, <laughs> like, I, I, I gave them like a, a call back. Uh yo, my boy right here all the way from Modesto. Representing, I've known him for 20 years now. Uh, Has it been that long? Yeah, dog. Doing great things. <laughs> Give it up, Manny Maldonado. What's up, my boy? It's great to see you, man. Uh, man, I haven't been here since uh, uh, 2021. I've been busy, uh, but I had two appearances in 2021, so I don't know. I think that's a good thing. That's so, a great but, thing. I've, I've been busy, man. But, but you renovated the place. It looks great. It's all organized. I yeah, we it. cleaned it up. I put a lot of more vinyl on the wall. It's awesome, man. You got white staff now. It's like fucking things are changing now. <laughs> yeah, no, they're not even white. They're undercover. <laughs> even better. Even better. Hey, hey, don't they look like the fools that were on in Narcos? Like the one they go to Mexico? <clears throat> Have you seen Narcos Mexico? I've seen it, yes. I've seen it m- numerous times. Doesn't he look like the guy that busts that bust the Mexican cartel? Like... He looks like him, and he looks like him. I mean, they could they could pass for it. Well, he looks like the Whole Foods version of him. But, but look, he also looks like if Borat had a brother, so, <laughs> so that that he can pass instead for of that Borat, too. like he was hood rat. <laughs> no, but yeah, this is Borat's uh, stunt double in his fucking movies. So he could go either one. Yeah, he can pass for a DEA agent as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, but, for reals, yeah. dude. I'm thinking about using you guys in some fucking sketches, dog. Yo, uh, new to the staff, everybody. We got Cody and Tony, man. Give them, give them some love, man. And my boys definitely, right here, Definitely dog. give it up for Cody and Tony. Right? Can you tell us all, like... Yeah, man. They got, like, they got shit numbered? Like, these fools numbered everything. This guy went to a strip club with me, mm-hmm. and he numbered the money he was going to throw. He was like, all right, first throw. Oh wow! Second throw. They're, okay. oh, wow, they're, they're, they're timing their throws. <laughs> he was like, "On my fifth throw, George, I throw eight. <laughs> nice, nice. I, I, maybe it was their first time hanging out at strip club. Who knows? Maybe. I like to throw ones. You, know, you like to throw know. ones. Okay. Are, are you? A, what, what kind of a throw are you at a strip club? Are you like no, a? I, I crumple. I crumple. Oh. I, I crumple because I'm getting my drink on, having a good time. I crumple and go. Das. <laughs> but das. do you do it from close or far? Um. Uh, Sometimes I do it close because it's a lot of big booty clapping, like clap, big ass claps in front of you. So I like to just boom, oh. so I can ricochet off. Yeah, the, the 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 butt cheeks, so I can just ricochet off. Can I tell you from from, <laughs> from my experience, yes. you are the one the strippers hit the most. <laughs> um, I've been in some rough places lately where I've been that's been necessary. I've been uh, going to the strip clubs in Cabo, so see if with Oh yeah, no. What what I mean, Manny, is so a stripper, mm-hmm. like say you went in there with the hundred ones and you just kept crumbling and throwing it. Like she no, has no, no, to, no, no, no. Hold on, like she there? sometimes fools do that. They have to go back to the dressing room and uncrumble all those motherfuckers and refold them, dog. It's fucking hilarious. Well, it's half the time crumble, okay. half the time nice straight, okay, straight. But, you know, it depends what kind of – it depends what I'm drinking to that night. All right. All it depends right. how pissed how I am that, how, that that night. Uh, you were talking about – I know you got a residency in Cabos, right? <laughs> like you said, residency. Um, it, it is a bi-monthly show I've been producing out there since uh, since I, I, I think I was talking about – Before COVID. Um, a little bit after COVID. A little, okay. A little, I was already planning it, but now it's been going strong since October 2021. And it's been great, man. It's been going, so. going really good out there. Yeah. What's the name of the spot? Uh, the place called Casina and Bar. Uh, it's it's really cool. It's an outdoor venue. It holds about 200 people. I've seen this cracking yeah, all the it's, fucking it's, time. It's been cracking, man. We've just been getting people in. 
Um, we want to get you out there, but I know there's a passport thing that we need to work. No, nah, it's just I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to leave the country yet. We don't know. Cause I it, mean, like it could be his first and last time. Doing I mean, think that. about it. I'm the only fool that, like, when I cross the border, he'd be like, "You too, me perro." <laughs> <laughs> like, I was, but th- see, this is what somebody told me. They're like, "Hey, homie, since you've already been locked up, mm-hmm. when they run your driver license, they're gonna know you're an American because you never got deported from being locked That's up." That's true. They're gonna look you like this fool's American. Yeah. He goes, "They're just gonna, I guess, they charge you two hundred bucks." But you know what? I just don't want you to get stuck out there, and then I'd feel bad. Oh yeah, you're staying. <laughs> no, no. But listen, I would feel bad because there's a lot of dudes that's, that look a lot like you that are just. <laughs> Trying to sell me shit out there. I'm like, damn, you speak great English. He's like, yeah, I used to live in L.A. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, there's a, yeah, lot, of a lot of them, bro. They're like, yeah, man, I used to live in El Monte. I'm like, oh, my God, what happened? Hey, man, I can't talk about it. it it's like, remember the movie Cheech and Chong did? Yeah, Born, Born in East L.A. LA. Yeah. Like, it's kind of crazy, it, all. It kind of is like that. Like, he's seen it yeah. way before the world seen it. Yes, yes. So that's been happening a lot. So it's funny because the last show that we did. Slow down, though. Back to those guys. Yeah. Like, how do you run into them, man? Because you're not the kind of guy that's like, hey, anybody here know English? No, no, no. They, they run into you, bro, because you'll be walking around. They're like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, I'm all right. To make you feel comfortable. Yeah, like, what's up? Like, hey, you want to get some girls? You want to get some tacos? I'm like, and they go from girls to tacos <laughs> like that. I'm like, oh, shit, that's a fucking big ass disparity. You want some fucking <laughs> carne or carne, you know? Um, <laughs> they ask that shit. It goes real quick. And I'm like, no, man, I'm good. Uh, and then I say, well, I'm, 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 I speak Spanish, and I'm, I'm a citizen. He's like, hey, man, I speak, in- I speak English, too. I'm like, okay. He's like, yeah, I'm from L.A. I'm like, well, what's up? How did you end up out here? He's like, I can't talk about it, but, man, I'm from El Monte. I'm like, oh, and they start telling me their story. Like, they, it's like they're stuck there. So yeah. something fucking happened. No, what happened is, is their parents left Mexico when they were, like, three or four. Mm-hmm. And then, like, they went to kindergarten shit. It's what happened it's to like Xavier. they got the schooling Yeah, down. but they were like, hold on. What do you mean I can't get a driver's license, mom? Mm-hmm. Like, no way, nothing is papeles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it was a trip because everybody I grew up with that was illegal, they knew they were illegal. Right. It's the fucked up on the parents to tell your kid. Like I would tell my kid, would you tell your kid, dog? Say you had a kid out there in Kabul. I st- I might <laughs> right now at the rate I'm fucking going. I <laughs> at the rate I'm going. Yeah. But you know what though, Manny? Have him out there, and then so I get the dual residency. No, yeah, no, have him out there. <laughs> so if child support happens, Mexico child support is way cheaper than American child oh, yeah. support. Come then on, pesos compared to dollars. Come oh on, yeah, bro. no, but yeah. So I, I fear for you in that sense. It's like we trust me. We want we want to have you out there. I, I remember t- telling you about it that I wanted to have you out there. You're like you're hesitant, and, and right now yeah. I, w- I would hate for you to do a podcast. Hey everybody, I'm from Kabul today. What's up, everybody doing? What's up, my boy? <laughs> Fucking live in Kabul. Well, how, well, how would I do if they made me stay? But they, I'd be like that. I do. You know what? I wish they would make me stay. I would, you know what? Hey, Mexico, come get me. But you know what? But here's the thing. Here's the thing about Cabo. It's like, it's like Orange County gone wrong. It's, it's so Americanized that you know it'd be cool. It'd be like you grew up, grew up in your barrio again, except so, with just more huevos. Yeah, ca- Cabo. Is it Cabo? It's Cabo San Lucas. Yeah, a Cabo San Lucas. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of white people out oh, there. Oh, a shitload, man. I mean, because our audience. How do they act, though? They're like, what's oh, up? No, no, it's cool. Irvine, bitch. No, no, no. You know what's cool? <laughs> the show that we do is mainly for the people that live there. It's not for the tourists. It's for locals. Uh-huh. And the majority of the people that live out there are American, uh, Canadian. Uh, they're like, retired, like older crowd. But they're bringing a lot of younger people now. But we hardly ever go after the tourists. Because the tourists go there for one thing. To get fucked up, hammered. Partying, heck, heck, all this shit. Yeah, and, and you know, we we hardly ever have any tourists go to our uh, show. It's mainly local. You don't get like twenty Russians. No, like, fuck this no, shit. No, 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 no. It, it's it's a good vibe, bro. It's just and you know I I developed it into a, a comedy comedy scene out there, so it's a, it's a good time, bro. It's all good. But I think you would you would do great there. I'm not worried about you comedy wise. I'm worried about you legally wise. I mean, I'm I mean. Honestly, I could. I just, I'm not trying to be a dick to you. Yeah, I know. It's, is, but, is it because uh, you don't have a passport? No, they won't issue me a passport. Yeah, you need to go through that, uh, that process had, first. Yeah, like, I haven't, I, I was born here at full, but like, I have this violent crime. Yeah, but even even that, like, you haven't done, from what I know, you haven't done a crime in the last 10 years that I know of. Yeah, but it was violent. Like, when I it got doesn't out of, matter. It should, it should, it nah, should. this shit. Like when I got out of prison, mm-hmm. you're only supposed to do three years. I did the max five. You did five. Parole. Like <sighs> parole, fool. I did more parole than I did time. Damn. 
Ain't that some shit? Like, I broke up a prison and parole. You know what? Parole's like an ex-girlfriend of prison. I was like, Just hey, keeps hanging around. You know what? You think you're bad because you're out now? You still got to come see me once a month, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> shit. Ain't that some shit? Damn. It's kind of like, like, like an bit. STD. Hey, help me with this bit. It's parole like, <laughs> is prison's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> prison's ex-girlfriend. Hey, uh, I don't care where you were last night, but just piss in this cup, hey. <laughs> or it could, it, it could be that reliable side girl, too. Yeah, you know what's crazy, Manny, is uh, a lot of people were judging me when I was on parole. You are getting judged? Only because I heck, I couldn't get a job, so I was doing comedy on the road for cheap but enough to pay. Right. And I would dress like mm-hmm. a fucking surfer or a skater <laughs> just so like I wouldn't be fucked by police. Yeah. A cop's not going to get me if I got a fucking Quicksilver shirt on or with some fucking Volcom khakis. Some Vans, some khaki and Vans. <laughs> You're going to be like, what the fuck? You like, I, like, I like Tony Hawk. I, I really do. Yeah, I like Tony. No, but I do, though. But, <laughs> well, like, do, but, but I was extra. Like, I wasn't wearing one of these. For, I was wearing, like, the white boy ones. They got, like, yeah, the this, fur this inside. This gear that you have on, is, I, I feel like yeah. you look like one of the mannequins at the Santa Face Ring swap meet. I love it. Yeah. I, mean, I love it. It's, it's great. It's great. You're posted up. I love it. Like, but, uh, but this is you. That's your style. Yeah, but, yeah. like, it was weird for and like i would in my head be like wow when like i got off parole and i was like oh shit pendleton time again and all that because yeah. i was doing drugs I, i'm in fucking texas dog on parole doing cena el rey dog in mccallan oh, wow. ghetto ass that good old uh what is it mario salazar and, yeah uh, mario mario Salazar, superstar salazar Super- raymond orta raymond orta those dudes that's yeah. their area homie those are that's their area that's their area Rem- yeah. respect respect what's that's, that south Texas, southwest texas i think uh if, if i'm not mistaken i think it's west texas yeah I the valle the there. valle because the rio grande is there yeah. and then uh, if i bo- i fucking boned a cop on parole <laughs> That's what? how fucking like. That's how paranoid you are. No, what's going no, on? No, dude. <laughs> You're like, oh shit, Liv, please. I don't want to leave. Please, please, bitch. Come on. Take this dick, please. Come on. Take this parole pipe right now. <laughs> now, nah, homie, I got the picture, dog. So, like, my brothers were worried. They're like, hey, fool, don't leave. We'll give you the money that the club's going to pay you. I said, mm-hmm. I can't. I got I to gotta build a following again, guys. Yeah. So I went out to the McAllen and I fucking wore a, like a cardigan V neck. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, this dude. Hey, fool, with some like black clean. They for uh, I look like fucking uh, Lou Diamond Phillips when he graduated to stand up and deliver. <laughs> <for. laughs> oh my goodness, really? Yeah, but and this co- and I'm fucking buff, fool. You were swole because I just got out of prison, so I'm wearing like like a GQ outfit, mm-hmm. and, but with like a little thug, you know. Yeah. And, and she's just like. <sighs> You're here to do comedy? Yeah, she's and like, hey, I didn't know whether to arrest you or like to fuck you. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, what are you doing here? I said, oh, I'm a comedian. She's like, those jokes about Joe. I'm like, oh, that was years ago. I don't know if she's a hoodie yet, dog. Yeah. And she's like, what's up? Well, you want to go get something to eat? And I was just like. She was probably a fucking. In my head, I was like, I want to fuck. I don't want to eat. Yeah, I yeah. want to go drink. She's probably going to the academy still. I saw no, you. No, dog. She's just, legit. L- L- hey, dog. Handcuffs and all. Dog. Billy Club, everything. Dog. Fuck. Real? Mace. So we go everything. to. Everything. Mace, yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, just in case. Mace. This fool's checking the whole art. Because <laughs> like, like, it's Mace. Because, you know, whatever. No, hey, homie, shit. she has a cuete. She had a real gun. Gun. All right. So I fucking, the first night we go to eat. Over there, you even had a little dinner and everything. Little I didn't trust. If I, I wanted a pussy so bad, I was only out for like three months. <laughs> I was only fucking my baby mom back then. I haven't had a new pussy in eight years. So you were feening. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh my, and I didn't know she was cop. And I was like, damn, this bitch has a strong ass back because <laughs> she was training every day. <laughs> like, you ever heard? No, she's already a certified cop. Yeah, like, but no, but she, she's still training. They still go and just yeah, probably lift weights. She in the morning came to the she show. Breakfast and shit. She came to the show, and I mm-hmm. fucking um. Damn, for you bringing back memories. <laughs> you are. I'm just listening. <laughs> <laughs> My dick's hard right now. Just <laughs> and uh, so we, I think we went to an IHOP. Uh-huh. And uh, she was just like, so what's up with you? She's like, are you like an ex-gang member comedian? I was just like. That's such a weird title. Ex-gang member comedian. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> uh, I would just say like uh, active Chicano. She's like, what do you mean active? That like. That's when I was kind of like, wow. Because when a cop hears that. She active, wanted to arrest you once you said that. Yeah. Active Chicano. No, like, no, she wait. wanted to know who she was with. She was like, look, fool, I'm a cop. Mm-hmm. So, like, what's up with you? And I was like, hey, man, 
I can't lie to a cop, so I'm on parole, but this is the job I do. I got custody of my son because his mom's a crackhead, and, like, mm-hmm. I need to work. Eh? And she was like, what, man? And she was just like, all right. Like, feed me full. Mm-hmm. She was like, well, hey, man, I had a good time. Like, two minutes later, she goes, I had a good time with you. Mm-hmm. Boom. And, I, and, hey, I got your number, so, you know, next time you come to town, hit me up. Whoop de whoop. Yeah. So I fucking, like, I took a L of four. I was like, fuck. I took a fucking Uber back to my room. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. And it, this is Thursday, for You're there till Sunday. It's, it's, yeah, Thursday. It's, it's a long run. <laughs> yeah. And those, and those days in McCallum, they go by slow. Slow. Extra slow. Like it could be 12 o'clock, like three times. Yeah. In a span of five hours. I don't know, yeah. what, I don't know how they do that. Like they the don't have, doesn't move. It just goes they don't have slow. grass. They got like five <laughs> grass that stuck together and made one thing. Just go slow. It goes yeah. Slow. It's a great town. It just goes so slow. the next day, full, she hits me up. Mm. She goes, hey, what are you doing? And I was like, uh, I, I'm on the second show. I'm going to be out of here soon. She's like, hey, I'll pick you up. I'm like, what's up? She's like, yeah, let's, let's go somewhere. Like, All right. So this bitch picks me up in the cop car, dog. What? <laughs> yeah. She put, like, she put you back in the backseat like a German <laughs> Shepherd? Are you serious? No. She's like hanging out there like a German Shepherd and shit in the back with the fucking, with that black thing in front in the middle? Oh, my goodness. She's like, this one knows how to find coke. He can kick in the German Shepherd spot. <laughs> You kick you took the German Shepherd's spot. Ain't that a Maddie, bitch? Maddie. Oh my goodness, man. That's crazy. We go back to IHOP pedal. Of course. But this time full She um, hopped. <laughs> yeah, this time she hopped. Um I'm not, I'm kinda comfortable now. I'm not wearing the card again no more. Yeah, player. You're, you're starting to get out I of I got the black button up on. You're starting to get a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, and everybody at this IHOP is looking at me like, damn, this fool's a fucking snitch. Yeah. <laughs> The fucking rata. <laughs> He's with this rat. Yeah, and I'm like. About to rat on somebody. So, yeah. Somebody, rat on somebody from the cartels in Reynosa or something. Right? Uh, just for a fucking scrambler. <laughs> for some, offer some eggs and toast. <laughs> fucking selling out your soul. I love it. <laughs> Keep begging on me, dog. I'm serious. You didn't give a shit. Like, I love this French toast. Anyways, <laughs> then I saw the two assailants. What the fuck? Like a snitch. So, I was like, hey, man, like, you know what, eh? Like, mm-hmm. I, I can't kick it with you in uniform. Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, I'm off in an hour. I'll be out of uniform. I'm like, well, what's up? She's like, well, I'll pick you up. So this bitch picks me up in a Jetta. It was weird. Okay. I thought she had a better car. She had a Jetta. Whatever. I had a Jetta. You never going to complain <laughs> when I fucking picked you up when you were in but my you, car in my yeah. Jetta. <laughs> you didn't have Huda salary. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. I didn't. At the, back then, I didn't. No, I, I stand corrected. Yeah, right? you, you had who that salary. Yeah, like, yeah. Who that? Yeah, 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 I had that, who that, who that supplying money? Dog picks me up and takes me to a house that like Manchette grew up in. Oh shit! Like, <laughs> like she had like shit she killed hanging on the wall. She had like nice guns and she, like this bitch was like, she, you know the Spartan run. Yeah, she did that shit with people on her back. Like she did the, she did the Harriet Tubman Spartan run. Oh my goodness! She was carrying people and shit. She's on it. Fuck the shit out of me, dog. Of course. And this bitch had the chip. She had like, 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 if she put her car, her cell phone right there, mm-hmm. it would tell the pussy, hey, don't take this nut. Oh, <laughs> Like, it was like strong. Hey, dog, nutted in her. Like, hey, dog, this bitch took me. Took I'm, I'm at a prison for, I was doing burpees, pushes, yeah, yeah. playing basketball, dog. Only no soda, drinking water, healthy. This bitch took it all. Like, Damn, you know, I'm. This is great, man. I'm hearing this story now. I'm just gonna watch something that has to do with prison after this fucking podcast yeah. now. Something. That no, has it's something not even prison. Up. It's just like I don't give a shit because just the tendencies. They just like you. It's like you were like a paranoid puppy. Yeah, and she was the German Shepherd. You're and right. She just went. Rawr. Yeah, and <laughs> like that. A for. <laughs> took me for, took but I, t- I took it too. Yeah. Well, I made a cop nut on parole. Like, With the chip. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, man. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. I, it, it scares me, though. That's why like, I feel like I've gotten away with so much already. I feel like TJ's waiting to get me. But you're not TJ. I mean, Cobble's a fucking beautiful it's ass. Fucking, TJ, right? No, it's not even close. It's do like, you, how do you get there? You plane? have to take a fly. Yeah, a fly. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, but see, I Two need, hours. Yeah, I can't get over there unless I got a passport. And we got to get you a passport. Yeah, you will start to go fund me for my passport. Everybody, all the listeners, I mean, I need a you lawyer. love George. Go fund, go fund him a, on a passport. It's only, it's only like two hundred eighty-eight dollars, but he really needs it. <laughs> so if if you listeners out there, no, just donate a dollar. I already each. tried, and they're like, "Hey, you got to come." To I, th- court. I think it's because of your record, yeah. and we, it needs to be cleared. Probably another, maybe hopefully another two years. Right, huh. R. We'll Kelly see. can go to Epstein Island, but I can't even go to 
Cavill, yeah, that's funny. Cavill. No, we'll get we'll get you out there, bro. Somehow, some way. What do you think about that R. Kelly shit, fool? It hurts me because he's our Michael. <sighs> you know, it's funny because I really enjoyed. I still do. Like, I, I, I like to listen to R. Kelly songs. If they come on, I'll fucking sing his songs. <laughs> your body, your body's calling. I'll fucking sing that shit. Why the fuck not? Love R. Kelly. Well, uh, give me some honey love. But you knew. You knew back then. Like, he was in, he's always up to no good. Like, because if you listen to his lyrics, he would always have something with just eating ice cream and shit like that at the mall, hanging That's out with girls. Funny. I'm like, really? You knew the signs were there. It's he's just at the mall. <laughs> I'm at the mall eating some ice cream. You know, so sooner or later, that shit was going to just end bad, and it did. You know, his music <laughs> is so good, That's I so think great. he's That's innocent. That's funny. Yeah, I'm like, nah, dog. Well, we want to believe that, don't we? Like we do. It's fucked up. Like I make excuses for him. Like if I was like a lawyer, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, I remember I was at work and they're like, "Hey, man, you're fucking playing R. Kelly right now, dude." Mm-hmm. I was like, uh, "Do you still play Mike Tyson's Punch Up?" I mean, and look, and, and when you think of R. And, and <laughs> R. Kelly's music is great, where you know where you do your thing, because. Uh, I mean, it's just strip, slow, stripper. Dog. It's like a stripper's anthem. You know, it's like. To this day. To this day. Down low will make a motherfucker be like, I remember fucking bitches like, and they were like, I won't tell either. That's what that whole song's about. God, right? Good stuff. Hey, let's fuck, but don't tell nobody. But I'm not saying that. Maybe because they were too young. I like, hey, don't tell nobody. But I'm saying that to some of my age. I always felt that he sang those songs, not in the studio, like in a big fucking just black enclosed closet. And just, <laughs> just started like, go ahead, R. Kelly, do your thing. And then, yeah, you hear those like sounds come out. And you see, he's, I mean, he's badass, bro. I, I love his music. But yeah. as a person, I mean, I don't judge nah, anybody. Fuck, fuck what he did because he got convicted I, I, for it. Yeah, I mean, look, man. It, it's it's sad. It's, it is sad. Yeah, because you know, like, their moms dropped them off. That's it, fucked up and then, shit. And then when I saw those documentaries, you know, oh my gosh, it was just like, oh my yeah. god. Yeah, <laughs> but they did the same thing to Michael Jackson, and no one. Michael Jackson's got like the number one Spotify. Spotify promotes Michael Jackson. They do. They do. They're like, uh, it's weird. Like, so check this out. Our conspiracy is is they killed Michael Jackson because they knew they were going to convict him, and they were like, look, if we kill him, conspiracy. we can still make money off his music because if. We don't kill him. He's not, and we're not. You know, it's funny. Every fucking dude that Michael Jackson, oh, when he had all those little, those young child actors, they ain't never been the same either. <laughs> they've been traumatized too, yeah. somehow, some way. Right? They're all gone. Well, they're not all gone. They're just weird. Like fucking Corey Feldman's fucking weird. He hung out with Michael Jackson, wore the hat, tried to dance like him. Yeah. Some weird. What shit about happened. who's the other one? Uh, Webster. Webster is he alive? <laughs> I don't even know. Is he alive? I thought, hey, I thought he was Beetlejuice at one time. No, that's there. hilarious. No. Is is he alive, though? That's nah, a good, I, think I think he Webster's passed, gone. right? He yeah. passed? I okay. don't think you get to live a long life when you're Yeah, he had that little... Short. Yeah, he had... Is that what you say now? He was short. No, he had some kind of thing going on. Yeah. I don't even know. I'm not going to diagnose him. But right. uh, yeah, man. Shit, we're all over the place today. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> we went from fucking penitentiary fucking... To fools that should be Sex in the penitentiary. And, yeah, and then now we're like, <laughs> now we're fucking we're labeling people R. Kelly songs. And I love it. It's all good. So tell us about your Cabo show. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your Cabo. No, like I said, um, things been going great out there. Uh, I've been bit really busy with that. I'm still doing shows on land, but I, and then I all of a sudden, and uh, I think about maybe three months after I did your podcast, I got hired to do the the cruise ships, and then that's been a blessing. Oh yeah, because I live right in Long Beach, and I'm right by the port. So, so talk about these cruise ships. Like, yeah. What goes on, dog? Okay, really, what goes on, man? It basically is I'm, it like Titanic? Are you like in like, a, <laughs> like is there levels? Is no, there the like, ship's not sinking. I like no. Is it like the Titanic? No, I hope not. In the Titanic, they had lower class and they had upper class. That's the only reason. No, no, no. I mean, basically, everybody you know has their own section and all that stuff i i tend to stand stay with the where the all the workers because i'm considered crew oh. but my room is cool you know okay. I, I get to do everything that the guests do you're like uh, what's up for? let me get some extra slice <laughs> no no we we eat like everybody else um i work uh one show a day sometimes two shows a night for like three or four days and then i come back home and it's like 30 minute shows uh usually it's a uh, three rated r like if i do sometimes i have to do five shows three of them have to be rated r they're all different, so it's an hour and a half of material. Uh-huh. And then uh, two PG shows, 
Uh, meaning, like, there could be kids in the audience. You just don't cuss. Okay. And, and dude, it goes. The time goes by fast. It really does. And I never thought I would say this, man. But I never thought I was gonna be performing where there was kids at the show. But it's actually kind of cool because I clown on the kids. And, and uh, I start yeah, roasting. So y'all fools didn't have to run from R. Kelly like me. <laughs> no, I, I I start messing with them. I roast them, and I tell you know I I, I give jokes and all that stuff. But it's, it's actually it's pretty cool. I never thought I was gonna be doing cruise ships. Uh, I was referred by a friend, and then. It just happened, dude. And then now I like it. It's fun. I, I'm, I'm performing like nine to ten times that's a week up, and dog. getting paid good money. That's so what's I'm up. like, what's up? Why not? You know? Right. That's, that's it. Uh. So some people were like, oh, my God, you're doing a cruise ship. That's lame. Fuck no. There's so many comedians now that are trying to get on the cruise ships. It's kind of funny. But um, there's a lot of comics that um, I run into. Some, a lot of them from L.A. that sometimes I run into them. I'm like, oh, I didn't know you cruise. What about all those comics that are like, well, so for get me in. <laughs> oh, that's been happening, too. <laughs> That's been so happening too. Hey, uh, dog, I, I took a CPR class. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I watched The Love Boat. What's up? Like, yeah. you know, no, it, it's actually pretty cool, man. I like it because you know me. I like to travel anyway. So it's like a, a little paid mini vacation. What happens on these boats? Full? Do, All right. So is it couples? Full okay, so, okay so I'll tell you I'll tell you what. Mainly the audience, the people that go on these ships are usually families or people that are coupled up. It's rare when you see somebody that's single on these ships. There's not like eight girls that go like, what's up? Sometimes. Man? Once in a while, like if it's a bachelorette party. They're like, well, fuck the staff. That, that's about it. But you, And that's one of the rules. We we can't mess with the fucking staff. Oh. Yeah. We, we can't do any of you, that. Can you fuck staff or just nobody? Nobody, bro. It's because I'm working for a corporate company, bro. It's weird. What if the manager wants to fuck? I, outside the ship, I guess it's all on. Right, <laughs> I mean, right. but whatever. But but I look at it as a as a job, bro. I just do my thing. No, I know. I'm fucking I know, but, with you. This is I know, what guys. I know. But I'm, no, I'm doing. But a, now you want me to get fired? Like, Manny, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Let's go. No, Stick I'm, it in. Come on. I'm I just doing, fucked a cop, Manny. Come on. You know better. <laughs> I'm doing. Fuck the captain, Manny. Fuck you know. Suck the captain's dick. Is that okay, Manny? <laughs> I'm doing stiffler on you. Huh? That's no. some stiffler we do. What's That's up, some stiffler shit. Come on, man. It's cool. No, I get. I get. I know. I know your angle here, George. But here's the thing. It's been it's been really cool. I've grown a lot, uh, writing wise. Uh, just tightening up my fucking my shit, meaning my stage my stage presence and everything like that. So it's been a blessing, bro. I like it. I like it a lot. And what's even cool sometimes is that sometimes when I'm doing shows in Cabo, one of the ships goes to to, to Mexico or Cabo, and they just leave me there so oh, I can do my thing. And then bam, so that's, that's kind of cool up. too. Yeah, free so, ride, eh? And and it's been dude, it's been cool to meet a lot of. Different people from all over the place. Like, for example, when I'm doing these shows at right here from the ships that leave in Long Beach, you get people from, uh, obviously, Southern California, Northern California, Las Vegas, Utah, uh, just all over. People sometimes flying from Chicago to go on this ship. I mean, this ship, it, ship holds 4,000 people. Damn. So you get all these packed shows, bro, no Dude, matter you're what. You're doing theater ships. Yeah, sometimes there's <laughs> theater in there, and we're doing theater shows, too. So it's it's a variety of stuff, and it, I like it, bro. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, I can't go on the ship. No, you, we can't even get you to leave another 30-mile radius, yeah. but that's okay. We're working on that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> even when you go to a comedy store, you're like, shit, I don't know if, like if when I can I, get past that When way. I tour, it's only America, though. No, I know. And, and congrats. I see that you've been hustling and doing your thing, and – and you teamed up with, uh, obviously, uh, Willie Barsena. Fuck great, yeah, dog. Which is great. Hey, me and Willie Barsena, we're going to do a movie. We're going to be two cops, like like Lethal Weapon. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can see that. Right? That'd be kind of cool. Me and Willie's fucking uh, Danny Glover, and I'm Mel Gibson, dog. For, for the viewers that don't know Willie, he's what we call a comics comic. He's such a great writer. He, he's, he's talented as hell. OG. OG. We all respect him. Everybody respects him. If you don't. He's just, it's just Willie. Willie's, yeah, Willie's he's Willie. He's the man. And, and Willie likes to, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll let you know if he, if he likes you or not. Yeah. And that's just how he is. Yeah. And you just, as, as uh, you know, I've been 20 years plus in, and I remember him always throwing me some love when he was uh, doing radio out there in Sacramento. And he was just always cool with me. He gave me some tough love once in a while, but that's yeah. just how he is. It's how everybody. So I, res- I respect Willie. Yeah. That's what's up. So, you know, Willie's Willie. That's what's up. So you guys are doing um, quite a few cities. Like, are you... Are you um, how much time are you doing? Are you doing like 25, 30? I'm doing 30. 30, and then he just handles just two-person show? No, yeah. We, no, we have someone else do 10. I'll do 30. Okay, you have a little, uh, an opener, and then yeah. you just do your thing? And then we'll rotate and switch it like when I do mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll switch it up. That's cool. Um, what, have, what have you noticed? And, and then, because I guess he went viral on the... 
Oh, he's super viral. He's All super his viral. videos are out, and he's doing new. Dude, that's how talented <laughs> Willie is. He's throwing new shit out, old shit out, well, he's, constant he's, he's, shit. He's so funny, and it's cool that that this younger generation is finally starting to catch on to him because well, he never put it out. He never put it out. Yeah, <laughs> and he has a yeah. lot of funny stuff. Willie was like Kim Kardashian that when she saved the video, <laughs> she's like, "I'm gonna show you fools these porno later." No, and it's it's. Uh, I'm good. I'm I'm happy for him. I yeah. think it's great. Well, you know what? We're going to pull out right now, take a little break. And we're back like a hood rat in the Cadillac waiting for the sizzag. George Press Stories is also brought to you by Gunther's, located in downtown Santana. They got a store for Maine. They got a store for Broadway. What does Gunther's have? My whole outfit right here. Feed me Pendleton. 501s. Khakis, Ben Davis, Solos. They even got Polos, Carhartt. If you want to look like you were in Boulevard Nights, America Me, Blood in Blood. No, that's right. Yeah, Blood in Blood Out. Um, <laughs> Those are right. Dude. Mi Vida Loca. Yes. Fucking uh, the one. Uh, <laughs> the one. The church Echo one. Park. Uh, Duke Echo of Park. Earl. Oh, Echo Park. Do you remember the Duke of yes, Earl? Yes, I do. Duke of Earl. Oh. Bad, bad filming in that Hey, shit. you know what's crazy, Manny? <laughs> what's up? Is uh, a lot of people were like, George Perez is the first one who started Blood In, Blood Out quotes. And I said, Simon Skin. <laughs> Simon Skin. I'm Manny. the first one who did it on Instagram. <laughs> on, on the gram, but I think I. But the first motherfucker that did it in comedy, like like you had it in your stand up. <laughs> I did bit. in my early in my early days because you and I were doing a lot of uh, shows together. And yeah, I would always just bust out with Popeye references all the time. And just movie quotes from that movie because give us some Popeye dog. <laughs> you had him on your show. I was jealous. Hey, that hey. was really cool. I say all of a sudden he's taking a deal with the comedy store. Carlos saying, "Give me some chon chon." I got George. Hey, that, that whole, was dope. He that came, was dope. He came to the store. I saw that man. He was on the show. I listened to the podcast. Shout out to uh, Popeye, and uh, it was great. And then I saw him. He went to go support your show too. That's yeah. fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, That's he's awesome. Feed me, dog. And he, I like how he was. He, he he was. You were interviewing him. He was just so calm and cool. Yes, I, I was acting, uh, you know. Super educated. Educated. Super, like, went, high went, level. Studied, studied yeah. acting, like, the real deal. Yeah. And, you know, he it's it's crazy because I remember seeing him, obviously, on uh, Blood In, Blood Out. He's iconic for that. But I remember seeing him on Speed as well. He was in the movie Speed. And a couple other movies, too. And I think he was. Star Trek. Star Trek, too. And I think he had a small role, role in the show Insecure, too. He had a little, a little yeah. part in that, too. But he's he's talented, bro, and, and, and kudos. That that was dude. He's feed man. He's that was so rough. cool. Uh, that was so cool. No, yeah, you know what's a trip is? Uh, somebody told me he goes, you guys should do a TV show like Sanford and Son because he looks like he could be your dad. He could. And I was like, wow, Popeye. Yeah, and he's a uh, is it Panamanian? It's Panamanian. Yeah, Panamanian. You, yeah. you know the funny part? He goes, George, I'm reading the script in third page. I gotta rape someone. <laughs> You know, oh, that, with, that, the, with, the, with, with the script, with the yeah, blood, in, blood out. Yeah. yeah, that's a Disney movie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, Disney owns it, right? Uh, I did not know that. Disney owns Blood In, Blood Out. That's why they won't do nothing with it. Wow. Uh, well, like, I'd hate to see Blood In, Blood Out on, on, on Disney on Ice or something. Yeah. <laughs> say Everybody's getting around, give me some chon chon, give me some chon chon. Uh, like, that'd be fucking weird. Hey, Cinderella. <laughs> go, go find skate a fella. with another fella. <laughs> so, uh, this is the best burrito I've had. <laughs> Say you're with a beautiful chick, and she's mm-hmm. like, hey, you want to watch in Bound by Honor? Or yeah. you're with a Seven. Mm-hmm. She's like, hey, let's go watch Blood In, Blood Out. I've done both. <laughs> but more sixes. Yeah, right. With the Blood In, Blood Out. That Bound by Honor? <sighs> yeah. You know why they changed the name? Well, I never knew why they changed it. He I, says I, it on the podcast. is because uh, the riots came out. Oh, and, in the early 90s. And yeah. that movie was supposed to scare you into going to prison. So mm-hmm. the blood in, blood out was too like aggressive. And they were like, let's go so, bound. Let's go honor. bound by honor. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the guy that directed it was the same guy that did uh, Days of Thunder. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. dog. Yeah. Hackford, last, uh, <sighs> la- la- director's name. And then, um, dude, I mean, look, think about it. As Latinos. As Mexicanos. <laughs> Mexicanos. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? I don't. I don't. I'm not Latinx. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. I'm, I'm, I don't <laughs> so I'm know. Like, like, look, not to diss a Latino. No, I'm just. Mexican. But I don't know what I, I'm not. La, I'm not from Latin. Means Europe. 
<laughs> that should be correct. Latin means Europe. Latin's just trying to get a broad spectrum for everybody that's, you know, with Latin countries. But look, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not American. from a Latin country. Yeah. I'm from North America. That's Mexico. I'm from I, La M, hey, Modesto. Hey, hey, hey I'm, look, I'm looking at my uh, editors like, yeah, they're like, yeah, George, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> you're, 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 that's, that's, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> that's, that's accurate. And I'm not dissing. I'm not dissing no, I'm Dominico, not. Puerto Rico, Colombia, no. Panama, but I don't cook my bananas, player. No. <laughs> we like, we, we you make liquados. <laughs> you make liquados. You're not down with the plantains. Yeah, and I'm plantains. not dissing, but it's just like we're connected by, what is it called? We were conquered by Spain, so we speak the same language. But we fought. Huh? We fought. No, we ah. <laughs> we lost a couple, but we fought. See, one. Manny motherfucking Maldonado. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Back to um, back to those kinds of movies. There's only when you think of uh, movies with uh, brown, light brown or whatever. Our people. There's only like eight or ten of them, bro, in our lifetime. That we could just name off the let, let, Let's go. Let's go right now. La Bamba. La Bamba. One. Mi Familia. Mi Familia. Stand and Deliver. Stand and Deliver. Selena. Selena. Four. Uh, blood In, Blood Out. Five. American Me. Boulevard Night. Seven. Oh, six. That's six. That's seven. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Eh? I was throwing the six. For the Love of the Game. How do you like that? What's that one? That's, a, that's, a, that's about the movie of... Uh, the Mexican, uh, oh, the league. runners, no, li- Mexican McFarland USA. That's nine. <laughs> yeah, that's now. eight. That's nine now. Okay, because that's a movie about the Little League baseball team that won the Little League World Series from Mexico. Okay, so that I was dope. They, movie. Us, they do. It's called Love. Soul, and us. they have my boy uh, Clinton Collins. I call him Clinton Gonzalez, but now he's Clinton uh, Clifton Collins. But I always think of Clifton Gonzalez Gonzalez. Hey, like, you're missing two major ones. Traffic. Uh, up in smoke. Up in smoke. Fuck but it still yeah. had a white dude in it. No, but it's Cheech is still the lead. He's still the lead. He's but that's the, half credit, half of them. But movie. they're in East LA. <laughs> they are. Okay, all right. I, uh, yeah, I guess we can put those in there. They're okay. in East. So now Los. we're at we're at ten to fifteen, yeah. maybe. Yeah. But there's still there's just not that. There's much. more players. There's more. We just have to just dig in. We, <laughs> yeah, we got to go to Walmart crates. We, we have to go to Walmart DVD fucking crates. <laughs> I know. They, I don't know if their DVD still exists, but they're out there. But n- you but know what's fucked up? No more than twenty. If DVDs existed, you would probably have hour and a half of material. There's still on all those shows you did. There's still, there's, I did three three DVDs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so look, so here's the thing. There's there's maybe fifteen to twenty, right? Let's just agree on that. Of twenty shows, movies of, of uh, our culture uh, being represented, Spanish. <laughs> the others, the others, yeah. yes, the others. But uh, you know what I mean. And and it fucking sucks. It sucks. And now, how many how many things do we have? Oh, Taco Shop, the movie I was okay. In there we go. Uh, Taco Shop. Don't forget to watch it. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That wasn't going to be in my realm, but fine. We'll throw it in there too. But okay. But honestly, dude, think about it. Right now, on TV, how many shows do we have of our people? We have Lopez Lopez versus Lopez. Lopez That's versus Lopez. No, it's a different. Is it? Lopez yeah, it's called, it's called Lopez versus oh, Lopez. Yeah. And then uh, shout out to my boy, Momo Rodriguez, doing his thing on that show. And then you have. There's about 15 to 20. 15 to 20. Easily. That we know of. That There's we know more of. out there. I'm sure there is. Because City of God. They would, or, or they like, would consider like wa- Brazil. Like water for chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, they, would, like that. <laughs> they would consider Brazilian Mexican. And it's so complete. There's a Brazilian no, and a Mexican <laughs> are two completely different, <laughs> different people. Thing, different like, can I tell you what I think? Yeah. If I can't be Latino because when Mexico plays Puerto Rico in soccer, we want to shoot those fools and they want to shoot us. Like if our soccer team plays against each other and we don't get along, we can't. Yeah. Like, but it, you know, I'm not, is right. an Argentinian but here's Latino? <laughs> I could be, it could be half and half, you know? What is? They're European. Yeah, but they're they're considered. Yeah, it's a good question. Yeah, they're like they're the kids that the Nazis came and like hooked up. <laughs> right now, people are just gonna be going like this, putting shit on your comments. <laughs> you fucking non-history motherfuckers, sense and sense. They're sense, like sense, George sense. just did a bump during George, the break. George is on one right now. He's completely geographically. No, fucked no, right. no. I, I'm just no. I'm just trying to break it down because the other day somebody was like, "What do you think of Latinx?" And I was like, "Latinx is that a porno?" That's funny. Like, no, that I, I don't. Star? I don't know. I don't. I'm know. not hating. I'm on not it, hating on it either. I, I'm not really. I a, can't hate on something that's not there. I, I'm not really aware of it or anything like that. Because people, somebody asked me, Manny, uh, are you, 
are you Latinx? I go, no, I'm, I'm Mexican. Uh, yeah. My parents are from Michoacan. Straight so, up. Straight up. Like, my mama fucked me up. <laughs> I'm like, I can't say anything else or it's my ass. Like, yeah. that, that's, that's what I identify myself with. I, was I born in America? Yeah, but I still say Mexicano first. That's just me. Yeah. And to each their own. And that's not a knock on people that say Chicano, Latino. To each, if you want to say, say what you, yeah, say, say what, what you, you want, feel. say what you want. But when you ask me, when you I, ask me, that's what I, I, I got to Matt that, Walsh you. <laughs> that that's what I do. You know, I got to do Matt Walsh on you. I was like, well, are you saying I'm from Europe? Because Latin represent like, no, you know what? And, I'm, and I'm just kind of surprised. I didn't know that you you watch uh, football, soccer. I didn't know that. I mean, of course, homie. Like, I mean, let's not say of course, no, because I sometimes I'll watch, I played it, but I wasn't I'll, good. No, I'll watch that shit, and the final score is zero zero, and I'm pissed off. I don't right? like that shit. And then people are like, "Good game, good game, my ass." Nobody scored. Yeah, but like, there were some good passes. No. Watching watching a good <laughs> soccer game is like you being coked out with your girlfriend, and you're so coked out you both can't fuck each other. Shit, like, hey, it's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get it up. You couldn't get it wet. You know, it, it, look, I, I'll watch. I enjoyed the World Cup. I thought that was entertaining as hell. It is. Dog. That shit was fire. Now, I like that because it's every country trying to, you know, they're playing for that pride. You see Argentina step on the Mexican flag? Ah, man. How did you feel right there? But you know what? The way we played, we kind of deserved getting our flag stepped on because we only scored, like, what, two goals in three games? I know. We couldn't even get past the first round? Like, Mexico could sneak in a million kilos of Coke, but we can't sneak two goals. We can't even. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, that's a great that's a good joke. That's they, a great joke. Hey, hey, hey. Have, have the cartel play soccer. <laughs> like, no way. What was the now score? That, Sixty thousand to two. <laughs> no, it was uh, it was an embarrassment. And to me, it's like, it, come on, you, we could do better than that. You know what the embarrassment is for me, Manny? What's up? Is uh, I grew up in Orange County. That's a soccer county. Okay. And like, <sighs> it was weird. That like when I play soccer, I play against European Germans, mm -hmm. Brazilians, uh, people from France, and I'd always be like, "Yeah, I'm from Mexico. I'm proud." And they're like, "Yeah, y'all fools never won a World Cup. My country has." And it's true. Oh! But but here's what they, you could have. But you didn't have this in. You didn't have this knowledge. That I'm gonna give you right give now. Give me some. You could have said, "Yeah, but we have over ten people in the Boxing Hall of Fame." We won four, three to four Little but League World Series. That's not soccer. I know, but still, it's I, know, but I already know that shit. But it, it sucks. It was I just know. There. I just we—they've never won. They're and so but, passionate about and, the damn sport. And, and the whole thing is, is like in Orange County, they would be like, "Oh yeah, fucking wetbacks play soccer." We're like, "Yeah, but we haven't won a World Cup." Eh? You, you know what? And this is something I didn't know. I think they've only made it to the Elite Eight. They've never yeah. even gone to the Final Four. Yeah, so it's it's hard. It's a hard yeah. thing to win. This is this is my. Um, if you want to free the border up, you got to win the World Cup. That way, America's going to want more of us here to help America. Win the like World all Cup. of a sudden, you, you have your stance on the political fucking yeah. the, the wall. Like this is my solution to the wall. No, yeah, like look, look, it may go win the World Cup, and America's going to be like, hey, they just won the World Cup. Let's get their kids over here now. <laughs> That's your take. That's so funny. But you know what, George? I don't picture you. I mean, I, from the George that I know, I remember you could play basketball. That's the hell. Yeah. You were balling. Yeah. Hey, a lot of people don't know I can play ball. You can play. Man. One time we, we did a pickup game. We went to we went to the gym, and it was me, you, and Chepel. Yeah. Yeah, but you could play. Oh yeah. Yeah, you could play. You could do an inside moves and everything. Now <laughs> I don't know what you can do now, but yeah. now it's like a half court. Just now for like just shoot from the free throw line or something. I rely on my shot only. Just your shot only. Yeah, yeah. but you had like up fakes. You were back posting up people. You were getting it in. Yeah, I was real good in basketball at one point in my life, but I, I gave up basketball actually for comedy. Like another. Thing. But did you play? Did you play um, basketball in high school? Yeah, you did. I played you, basketball you in were, high school. You were a small forward. No, uh, no, I was like. Uh, how can I say it? Uh, a freshman guard? year, I was center, but we ran a motion offense. Mm, so okay. I was the center that would bring the guy, the big guy out and just dribble, do all the shit you see me yeah. do. That's why I got post moves because yeah. I played center as a freshman because okay. I was six feet tall. Mm -hmm. And then my sophomore year, I got locked up and I played in the juvenile hall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then like... Uh, tough league, everybody. Tough league. Yeah. <laughs> No half times. No, there was no no lead. half times. It was no just refreshments. Like we played until someone got stabbed. It's like, all right, <laughs> we're up three shanks to one. But my best was because of so like, I 
I didn't get to play my junior or senior year because I was doing bad things. The coach was like, nah, you can't play. You got so you only played your leagues. freshman and sophomore year? Yeah, but I, I played like in leagues after yeah, that, yeah. like outside leagues. Outside leagues, rec like leagues 16, or whatever. Yeah, and okay. I was dominating. You're doing your thing. I was point guard at those times. Yeah, you got skills. You got skills, I remember. But oh, shit, you beat me plus, player. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So, okay, so now. Let me ask you a fucked up question. Yeah, Let's please. Let's make this podcast go to the next level. Yeah, we're, we're on some goofy shit anyway. We're all yeah. over the place. Oh, I feel fucking good right now. Yeah, go for it. Ask me anything. Um, Say. I was acquitted. I'm just kidding. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> say you're about to be hung. Mm-hmm. And uh, the warden's like, look, dog, you're going to be hung in a week. Mm-hmm. And uh, it used to be last meal, whatever you want. But. Uh, if you can get any inter- entertainer, we'll let them do an hour before we hang you. Who who would you get? Alive or dead? Live. No, alive. I mean, you, no. you can't bring them out to life. Oh, you're on shit. parole. So that's be a live one. Oh, <laughs> okay, dead. Yeah, a dead or a live? No, one. no, no, no. I, I like I like both. That, that's a good argument. I think this is a good question. I think it's. A good, I mean, for one, I, I'd have to be have Richard Pryor. Damn! Pryor. Before you uh, he yeah. kill and then yeah. you kill. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> I, I'd have to have Richard Pryor. You're like, I can't follow that. Yeah, <laughs> no, Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Seriously, he he is the voice. Isn't he, he the fucking best dog? He's still the best. Everything, everything he said is still relevant today. And Dave Chappelle is doing shit I've never seen. Dave Chappelle's sketch destroys Richard Pryor's sketch, but Richard Pryor didn't have that freedom that Dave had. No, he paved the way. Yeah. He paved the way. And, and but still, Dave's sketch comedy beat everybody. It, it did. Well, that, that was groundbreaking, too. But uh, Richard. But stand up? Richard's Richard. I don't give a shit. Nobody could, nobody could touch Richard. I don't give a shit. Nobody. I mean, yeah. Is, is Dave the, the, the goat right now? Yeah. Okay, I'll give him that. I yeah. like Bill Burr, too. But me, personally, Richard's the dude. Yeah, Richard's, Richard's the, Michael Jordan. Like, ri- 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 exactly. Who will exactly. wear his shoe? Would Richard, you, six for six in championships. Yeah. Six for six. Hey, if six Rich, MVPs. If Richard Pryor said, hey, Manny, mm-hmm. smoke this crack with me. I didn't even did crack. I would fucking eat the pipe. Ugh. I would just. <laughs> Honestly, dog. Long time ago. You know, I don't know how we talk with something like that, but yeah. Yeah. You know. It's you, Richard, man. It's Richard for me. Yeah. But know, if it was a live one, I, I guess it would be Chris Rock. Yeah? Yeah, Chris Rock. You love that for huh? I do. <laughs> Throw some do. Chris Rock, dog. I love going on the George Perez Story podcast. They're good. <laughs> Fuck you, Will Smith. You know, um, oh. he's the dude, and, and it's great. I, I guess he has. You think sp- Dave Chappelle would have swung back if Will slapped him? You know, it's funny. Now, now we're comparing to see if, if any. Co- I would have fucking hit Will. I don't give a he's fuck. He's pretty big, dog. He's a big dude. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah, but you know, I, I mean, the. I've been slapped before, but I've never been slapped where it's like stay calm slap. Here's I, the thing, bro. The the Mexican part of me would not be allowed to get slapped. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. And, and, and plus, and, you're like, the way you think, I know you. I think you I'm very fidgety. It. I would have dodged I'm like, <laughs> fast. I'm like, I would have dodged that shit fast. Yeah. No, I would have dodged that shit. I would have ran. I would have ran away, but I would have dodged it too. But here's the thing. It sucks, man. It sucks that that happened to one of our own. You know? And, and, and that's just, that shit still bothers me because I look up to Chris. I think he's a fucking badass comedian. That shit still bothers me. He got me. sucked on TV. He this, did, this bro. Shit. And that sucks no matter what. It's like he got slapped. He didn't even get sucked. He got slapped. And it sucks. And it sucks. It sucks. But... Um, I'm looking forward to his new special. I guess it comes out uh, March 4th or something like that. That's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. And he's going to – I want to see what he has to say. But I hate that. I hate that that happened to a comedian. I, I, I hate – yeah. I, to me. Yeah, because you know what? We're we're there to make people laugh, and nobody should ever get so Where upset. did it happen again? The Grammys? At the Oscars. At yeah. the Oscars. Yeah, yeah. So think about this. I was in Cabo, man, getting drunk, and then right. and then uh, I just heard somebody in a, in, at the bar. No, Chris Rock, le pegaron, it's feo. I thought it was, hey. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I'm, yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? Because I, I thought something happened to him. Like, ¿Qué, qué pasó? No, is he alive? Oh, sí, nomás le tienen un chingadazo. Like, they just gave him a big slap in the face. Yeah. That's it. I was like, well, okay, but he's alive. Sí, le dio el Will Smith. That's legend, a yeah. legend. Honestly, it's legend. I am legend. Le pegó al otro. Yeah. That's Honestly, <laughs> I would have done it like this. So, like, I don't know. Being the person I am, I would have mm-hmm. got slapped by him first, mm-hmm. and then I would have thought, like, oh shit, is this in the script? And I didn't read it. Yeah, yeah. Then I would have went back, like after he presented, mm-hmm. like, and then I would have looked at my shit, and I was like, oh hell no. So when I see him backstage, I gotta take flight on him. 
Yeah, bro. Even, I, if, even if you're going to get no, you're going to get yeah, handled, bro? I, because that, if I'm not pressing charges, he's not pressing. I have to come and hit him again. You have to, bro. You have to. And yeah. But it, that's the same. It happens so fast. I know I, this is old shit, too. No, it's, it is old I shit. I didn't even talk about it. <laughs> but you know, what's, you know what it is, bro? I think it happened so fast. That he, I think maybe he was just in shock. Like, I can't believe this shit just happened, too. Who knows? No, it is. It's because you see But he is fucking like big, bro. Will yeah. a big he's a big motherfucker. He's a big dude. He's swole. I've know? been hit but before yeah, if you ask by me, big fools. If, if Chappelle, if Chappelle, shit, every guy that hit I got no, my record's 5'11 and 1. Yeah. Every, every fight I got hit. No, no, no. <laughs> Everybody that I fought with, it was always taller than me. I fought guys 6'2, six, 6'3. Six, yeah. Yeah, I put my hands on I'll, a couple of them. I'll be mad, fool, because you're such a cool fight. I'd hate for fools to fight you. But that was a long time ago, George. That was, that was, uh, I used to get in fights all the time. I had f- friends that were thugs. They said, their motto is if we don't get hoes, we throw blows. I'm like, really? Does it have to be like that? Huh. Yeah, they were fucking gangsters, These bro. girls don't stick, we going to hit. Yeah, man, that was crazy shit. But look, I, I, that is a good question. I think, yes, Chappelle would have swung back, too. I think so. Yeah. He's a bigger dude, yeah. Nah, but just the, I don't know. Just the way he is. Yeah. I think so. But well, somebody tried to try to rush him at, at a show, too, then, huh? Yeah, yeah. Some North homeless Hollywood. dude, right? Some yeah. homeless dude. Hollywood, Hollywood Bowl. Bowl, right? Uh, you know, but hey. But let's move on from yeah, this. Yeah, let's move on from that let's shit. They on. already had their fucking day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're good. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're millionaires getting hit. Fuck you. I'm a millionaire. Hit me all the time, then. So, what if... So what, what about you? Who what if you? The Rock the slapped rock? George Lopez? You think George would, George would do something dumb? <laughs> yeah, he, he would. Is, he's like, hey, if I already get my kidney, I can't get this. <laughs> yeah, of course. I think that, yeah. If, if, what, that'd be weird if Rock yeah. be starting to hit up people too, though. If if I was going to die mm-hmm. and like I was like, yo, you get an hour of performance from any entertainer. Mm-hmm. Damn. I love so much. I'm such a whore. I love music. Well, I mean, look, I love music like I love look, women. Look, look at this wall of fame. No, here. I already know, but look it's, at this wall of fame right yeah. now. It'd be music. Yeah, I think for you would me. have E forty. <laughs> no, I would, but I wouldn't have E forty. I would, I would probably have. Uh, I'm just here, just part late and just George. I'm gonna sing you some rhymes. <laughs> yeah, hustler. Huh. You only got one hour to live. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> one love, George. One love. Um. Honestly, dog, oh, I'm not even fanboying, but uh, I don't know. Like I you think, saying fanboying, you already got. You know, I probably want. have Cypress Hill. Cypress Hill, really? Yeah, because like they were like when I first was that your favorite rap banging, group? Like I related to them so much, and I know of Cypress it takes Hill. Takes you back there, to your childhood. Yeah, it was the happiest times of my life. Mm-hmm. As far as like without responsibility. Mm-hmm. And like they would probably let me smoke weed before I die because the Cypress Hill would have Cypress Hill is the only group that prison would be like, yeah, go ahead, bring it out. <laughs> yeah, it's you. Yeah, it's, it's you. Be real. Come on, sink that shit in. Dog, right. Cypress Hill came out on the Simpsons player. Like, let's be real. Yeah, they're mainstream. When you come out on the Simpsons, I mean, you're in a mainstream show like that. It's on. It's a you. It's a wrap. You've won it. You've won it. It's done. Mm-hmm. Ha- ha- has the Simpsons had Dave Chappelle? No. They've had Michael Jackson. Yeah. They've had Michael Jackson. Trump. Uh, Trump. Uh, Cypress Hill. They fucking had the Quite Mexican a few beam. <laughs> <laughs> they had the, Remember they had, how they, much they, that shit they, blew they, up they, after that? That shit was tight. That shit was tight. <laughs> Ay, el estómago. <laughs> you say that. The beam, like, he like, Ay, mi estómago. Oh, my God. Simpsons are fire, bro. Oh, shit. And we're back like a sicker hood rat because I did go get a sack. Manny Maldonado. Yeah, brother. Hey, brother. <laughs> How many years now? Over 20? No, yes, over 20. Uh, I'm 25 in. I'll be selling Fuck. the 20. I'll be celebrating the 26th uh, next month. Damn. Pretty excited about that. I'm, I'm 20 in. I'm, 20? I'm, I'm in on Edwin's birthday. Awesome, man. No, um, I started in 97. Fuck, fool. I was 20. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, you know what's funny, bro? I've actually been having more fun the last uh, eight or nine years. Yeah, so I don't really count that. Like a lot of people. I, How long have you been divorced? Oh, since tw- 2000. Uh, separated in 2012, legally divorced since 2014. So eight, nine years. <laughs> <I think laughs> so. Yeah, fuck, I guess. I forget that. They, they goes because by you were always a good man, homie. I, I still am. I just, no, I'm just happily about, single. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, though, like when I first met you, you were a man of morals. Yeah, that's, integrity. that's none of that's changed. I mean, no, I know. But now, but now I'm a little bit more like, you know, it's Lent season. so I. That's flojo. No, I, I'm. It's Lent season, so I gave up uh, beer and and hose. 
Damn. For Lent. Well, beer gets you hoes, so it. that was yeah, smart. So, yeah, so I'm just taking a break. But I, I'm just I'm enjoying life right now, loving life. Uh, my son turns 18 Damn. at the end of the month. And Damn. we're actually going to have a comedy show, and it's his birthday. So That's I didn't get caught. My son just turned 24. Andres, I love yeah. you, fool. He just turned 24, dog. They grew up so fast, but uh, it's all good, man. But, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the journey right now. Uh, I, I feel comedy's back with, with a vengeance right now, you know? And I feel like any kind of comic, uh, shout out to any kind of comic who's, who's, who's funny and, and is out there just putting in the work. That's it. Yeah. The there's a there's a new guy I discovered. His name's Ken Flores. Ken Flores. I've heard of, I've from heard of Ken Chicago. Flores. Yeah, yeah, from from Aurora, Illinois. Yeah. Funny I, dude. Yeah. That fool's funny, dog. Uh some of the stuff popped up online, very funny. Yeah. Dude. yeah. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. I, I like his charisma. Mm-hmm. I like his confidence. I like his stage presence. Yeah. I, I like I like delivery. what he's delivering on stage. And he's yeah. having a good time. Yeah. And he seems he's so clam- like he don't give a fuck. Like he's 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 uh he's smiling, he's having a good time and, yeah. and bringing the material. Yeah, I, I like, like it. I like I've seen how comedy has evolved. It has. It has. It has. It, you know, I, I you know. How has it evolved for you? Because when <laughs> you first started comedy, yeah. you couldn't post a video on Instagram. No, we didn't have no Instagram. We had just flyers. You just we had, had to flyers. show up at the gram. Huh? We, had, we had to show up. Uh, we had flyers. No, no. But I'm talking like, how did you do comedy when you first started? You had to show up and write your name as an open mic? Or no, or? I, I never did open mics. Um, I, I It's funny because, you know, being from Northern California, we just did shows with people, a lot of bar shows, and then we did showcases in Sacramento or San Francisco. I never did an open mic in my Who life. Who was with you when you first started out there? Uh, rest in peace, my boy Kane Lopez. Yeah, Kane uh, Lopez, Sadi- rest Sadi- in peace. Sadiqi Fuller. Rest in peace. Sadiqi Fuller. Um, a lot of comics like Key Lewis. Yeah, comics, Key Lewis. Comics like that, man. We uh, we were on the grind, but we were, we didn't. I didn't do open mics, man. And I, not, I didn't. You didn't I never get close to the mic. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I didn't, my voice is loud. It travels. But here's the thing: we, I didn't do any open mics, and then uh, when I met you, I was already out here just just grinding, just doing the the one nighters like we were talking about um, off camera. We were talking about you know Casa Latina and you know yeah. all these hardcore rooms. Wild Coyote. Wild Coyote. Second base. Second what base. What about Patio? Though, dog? Patio, Patio's legendary. Pa- Patio's le- legendary. All those all those hardcore rooms that were during the week. Um, you know, because they didn't they didn't give us any weekend spots. So. You know, it's so funny for. Let's look back. Yeah. They used to charge ten bucks to get in the patio. Ten bucks, man. And there was three hundred people there. Those fools made thirty G's, and they gave us four hundred bucks to disperse. It was it was terrible. It was just scandalous. It, it was, <laughs> and then we had you know we had our normal showcases of uh, Latino comics. They had the Ice House. And they had uh, the Commerce Casino, whatever, and these one nighters, Steven Steakhouse. They had things like that, you know. But it's just a different time now. And to me, I'm I'm trying my best to stay away from from shows that are free. Uh, pay to come see me now. It's like we're, we're not about that life no more. Pay for pay for our art, yeah. and, and take pride in your art. I'm, I'm, that's one of my things I'm focusing on. That's what's up. That's bro. what's up. Pay for our pay for our stuff. Like, no, I've, yeah, I've been like that. Fuck you, all that. It, it's not about. It's not Is the, there a guest list? No, uh, none of that shit. It's like, look, man. Are you boning me? Here's the thing. <laughs> there's a lot of, especially in our culture, there's a lot of people that, that enjoy boxing or MMA. They'll pay forty or fifty bucks to see a dude fight for two or three minutes. But you, you tell me, you can't support us telling jokes. Hi, my pay per view is only twenty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean. You, 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 I'm guaranteeing you forty five. Guaranteeing forty five. I'm not gonna lose first round. But, That's a good premise. You should say that. <laughs> That's a good premise, Manny. That's great. A now you're ready great. for me. <laughs> All right, my no. bad. Dog. My bad. Here we my go. bad. Here we go. Listen, listen, Mr. Comedy Store with his name on the wall. <laughs> no, here's the thing. But I, I agree, man. It just you know, pay for our, pay for our art, man. It's like pay, pay us. Appreciate us, and we'll we'll give it right back to you. Yeah, because you know what? Sometimes I feel like a Republican. Where I'm like, I see like a club will hit me up, and they're like, "Hey, George, will you come for 150?" I was like, "Bitch, 150? Like, you're gonna sell 300 tickets at 30 bucks and give me 150?" You start Fuck doing the math, you. right? Yeah, and then I see who did it. And I'm like, "Oh my god, have some pride, player." Like, and I've been watching Narcos lately. Yeah, you saw how they how, how business savvy they, they were. They did the union. Yeah, they did the union. So that's <laughs> La what, Federacion. <laughs> yeah, that's what you got to do. It's like, look, dog, we we go out for door deals now. Mm-hmm. We don't go out for the hundred. Like, nah, 
Or good game. That's only money, fucking yeah. three. That's only 15 tickets you sold, player. There's mm-hmm. 300 people in here. Yeah. Like, I need mine. That, and, and we all learn. But fuck all that comedy talk bullshit. Yeah. Well, well, I, we're comedians. I, we don't need to talk about that shit. Yeah. No. It's just, <laughs> what the fuck were we thinking? <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I missed you, dog. I missed you too, man. It's weird because uh, I thought for a while, like, for all the comedians that are out there, this is the new credit now. Like, this is another credit when you do. These nice podcasts like the George Perez story. Yeah, like, people this, are like, this is the new credit. This is the new. This is the new. You uh, know what's weird? Get local. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Sepulveda just uh-huh. did my podcast. Oh, okay, shout out to Jesus. Yeah, Jesus very funny dude. Up, fool. Yeah, and he was like, "Hey, George, I got more followers and notice than my HBO special." Really? Yeah. No, is that like, true? Yeah, dude. You can, hey. He told me. And really? I was, yeah. Oh and, man. And I was just like, "Well, yeah." The, I don't know. You like, don't know what to say on that, right? No, I was just kind of like, well, you know, HBO really doesn't hasn't put out too many good ones and whatever. Like everybody has it. Comedy Central, Netflix, everybody has it. Like the new thing now is this raw shit. Like, hey, for I'm debating, I'm putting my special out on a network, mm-hmm. or just going, hey, man, I love you full so much. I'll put it on YouTube. If you're fucking down. Donate ten bucks, player. Don't, b- b- every click, ten bucks, you know, or something, you know, whatever. Donate to a motherfucker. You know. Ari Shafir did that shit, made over a million. Wow, really? Yeah, and you own it, right? One hundred percent. Fahim just did. It. Yeah, Fahim just did, and that. Shot. Yeah, yeah. Is that right? So, oh, hey, shit. man, there's, there's another, there's another realm, there's another way. Yeah, there. that's what I'm saying. Because like, respect our art, appreciate our art, and pay for our art, and, and we're just at that. Like it's on now, and yeah. but like yeah, doing these podcasts, it's always people. People want me to do. People wanted me to do a podcast for a long time. It's just like, look, I'm just busy. I'm really busy, but I enjoy coming on with my friends like yourself. Yeah, I thank you for that. I, I like you've that. Been real busy. Yeah, but but I, I enjoy. You're that. a good dad. You're an <laughs> entrepreneur. You're a businessman. Yeah, I'm a businessman. I, I'm a traveler. In different countries. Different countries now. You know, I'm a little international now. So, yeah, man. But I, I mean, honestly, stand up is just at a good place right now, and I like seeing. Uh, other people flourish. It, it gives me joy to see other people do do the thing. White, brown, black. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Just comedy is one big ass community. Yeah, and I, I don't. I don't get you know, it. The uh, speaking of a white boy, I, I like this white boy named Steve Fury. I know who Steve Fury is. Yeah, he's from Northern Cali dude, originally. He's I fire. Love Steve. He's fire. I, I met Steve a long time ago. Good dude. I think he's from Sacramento. Yeah, he has charisma. Right? Yeah, he's a good he's dude. Like. I'm not Jotito, but he's good looking. Yeah, yeah, Steve's a good dude. He doesn't use his good looking as materials. I like it. Like, you know, he comes in. Unlike some other comics that I don't want to name, but yes. Yeah, you know. (laughs) I feel I'll be wearing mascara and shit. (laughs) (laughs) Like, he's up there spitting jokes. Spitting jokes. And then when I see him, I'm like, Dennis, we had a new set today. And like, he doesn't know, but he inspired me. Like, okay. Okay. He's a funny dude. No, yeah. he's he's a good dude too. Yeah, I I think he's gonna be the new white boy to break out in the white boys. Uh, in the white boys side. Like, no, like because that's how it is. <laughs> this is how, like in the, the white boys. The list of the, the, in the white boys, it's <laughs> gonna be Steve circuit. Fury. Yeah. In the Mexicans, it's Barbosa. Barbosa's doing his thing. Yeah, yeah because of out, all the conflict yeah. what's going on. Yeah. And uh in the blacks, I don't know. It's how, that's the hardest bracket. to me. Being a black comedian is the hardest bracket is because there's so many funny black comics. There's a like you gotta be funnier than Chappelle, than Rock, Earthquake, fucking those, those finesse. Are, like you, you gotta be funnier those, than Jamar. Like, right or wrong. Wayne's just put out an Yeah, wait, dude, they Mar- Marlon put Mar- Marlon put Marlon Wayne's put out an album and nobody knows. On HBO. And nobody knows. I didn't even know that until you just said it. Yeah. I did? Okay. That's what I'm you, George Press Stories gets more love than HBO. Hi, <laughs> Wayne. Shameless plug. <laughs> no, I'm just fu- No, HBO, if you want to use me for a... Uh, <laughs> HBO, come <laughs> on. I, I need a special. Come on, come on, HBO, please. Just record that last me? comment. HBO, um, yeah. No, I did not. I didn't know that. By you saying that, I did not know. Because yeah. Yeah, those names that you named right there, the Earthquakes, the, the Chappelle's, the Rocks, you got, those are the first three. And you, then and let's not forget Cat Williams and Mike Epps. I mean, yeah. hello. Those are top five right there. Done. Gerard Carmichael. Right? Gerard Carmichael. Yeah, there's six. And the funny part is, I think Corey Holcomb's funnier than all those guys. Uh, Corey Holcomb is raw and real. Like, yeah, that's some like, shit. like Corey. Corey, Corey Holcomb gives no is fun. my hero of comedy. I, I love his stuff. He's, yeah. he's, he's, Yo, Corey, <laughs> we gotta do something together, dog. That, that's 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 the dude right there. Remember when he used to do our ghetto rooms? Corey don't give a shit. Corey yeah, is, he used to do the Mexican rooms, dog, and sizzle that shit. He doesn't care. A little Hennessy, a little Hennessy cut. He he doesn't care. He's a good dude. F- One of the funniest hell. men in the world. Uh, easily, easily. Um, he, you know what? Yeah. 
We need to make this a fucking clip. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, check this out. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I did coke right now. <laughs> Shameless plug. Corey Holcomb uh-huh. is the only fool that should have been on Chappelle's show that wasn't on Chappelle's show. Yeah. Corey Holcomb would have destroyed the player haters ball. Who, who was on that player haters ball? If I'm not mistaken, it was no, Pat- Patrice O'Neill, Patrice, Rich Voss, Charlie Murphy, Rich Voss, Rich Voss, and Donya Rawlings. That's right. Oh, he could fit in there. No problem. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. I would like to see that. Corey Holcomb would have finessed. He's a he's a funny dude. The player he's on this ball. he's on the show, dude. I saw during the pandemic. It's so damn funny. Black Shout Jesus out, Christ. Yes. Yeah, Black that Jesus sh- killed. Shout it. out to Slink Slink Johnson. Slinky Johnson. Oh my god, so R. funny. R. Charlie Murphy. I even I even I even messaged him. I go, dude, this shit just has me in tears. Yeah, it's just so naturally raw. And Corey was amazing on that yeah. damn show. Yeah, you know what, man? Uh, <laughs> I I would love to work with Corey Holcomb. I I think uh, I think that could happen. I don't see why not. I know. I mean, but like, I, I, like the crazy part is a lot of people look at him and like he's like a dedicated human being. Well, he he speaks his mind and he's, yeah. he likes to ruffle feathers. That's just how and, he but is. But he's dedicated. It's like dead on research. There, there is no. There's there's no in between at all. There's in between. It's either hardcore. Did or, you see him on the Shaquille O'Neal special? Yeah, I've, I've seen him. I've seen him many a times. But he has this one. Uh, I think it's a it's a it's a show. He has let, on YouTube. Let, let, let me tell you about the special. Whatever, yeah, whatever it's called. Yeah. So Corey Holcomb does the Shaquille O'Neal special, mm-hmm. and they said, you know what? All, everybody on there was like, I'm big time. I want to go up later. So Corey Holcomb went first, mm-hmm. and oh, he did so fucking good, nobody could follow him. He so that bar on the special, they make him go last. Oh, they, they edit it. So they, yeah. Dog. Uh. Yeah, yo, Corey Holcomb, get at your boy, dog. <laughs> I got, a, I got a little, I got an undercover like Vato crush on you. <laughs> no, he, he's, he's <laughs> like as far as like fuck. I love. I see him at the store one night, and I was like, yo. He was like, yo, George, I know who you are. I felt proud. He's like, I fucks with you. And I was like, damn. And you know, no, you know who, who's my Vato crush? I, who? Pound for pound, I think he. I mean, uh, we already mentioned the Rocks and all those guys. Those guys are great, but I seen him. I seen this guy live maybe about three or four years ago. At the Improv in Ontario, uh, Tommy Davidson still brings the heat. Fuck yeah, still brings the heat. Fuck to yeah. me, that's the dude right there. Too. Yeah, very. When he's on fire, when he's on, I when he's on, he's, he's on. on. And he yeah. had one of the better specials on the Shack All Stars when he does yeah. the, the Spanish Channel and all that stuff. Like he's kind of like following Chris Tucker when Chris Tucker was at that time. Yeah, but Tommy's Tommy Tommy's I know. Tommy's but been Chris really... Tucker had that seven minutes that was untouchable. Yeah, and that's it. And Chris Chris is like hey, he's good now. Like, I'm yeah, like, I don't. I'm good. I don't. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Oh. That's a, hey. <laughs> Pissed off, man. I don't want to do it no more, man. G- g- give me some dog. G- I don't want to do it no more, man. Hey, uh, y- you know the person I wish I can impersonate. He's one of my favorite characters. Is um, fuck! I'm so mad at myself. That movie with uh, movie? Terrence Howard, where he's a pimp, uh, Hustle oh, and Flow. Hustle and Flow. I've only seen that movie with, a couple he's times. Like, but... Hey man, <laughs> he does. Oh my god! Dog. You mean Terrence Howard as the as the What's dude? DJ. His name's DJ. Yeah, yeah, he's a well, rapper. Oh, he's a rapper. Yeah, he, piece of hey, man. Yeah, he saw, saw something like that. Yeah, that's a very you know what's un- weird. Underrated is, uh, movie. This comedian gave me this funny fucking reference. So this comedian was like, hey, fool, here's my DVD player. You said if a comedian gives you a DVD, you'll play it and watch it. Mm-hmm. I said, if you're willing to put yourself on DVD, you walk up to me and you want me to give you a critique, give me the DVD. Mm-hmm. But so this fool does it. He gives me his DVD. But the fucked up part is my son took my PlayStation. That's the only thing that plays DVDs that's in That's the only thing that plays DVDs. So I didn't get to watch it. So this fool hits me up like three weeks later. He goes, hey, thought you have me to replay it back. He goes, don't tell me you did me like fucking Ludacris, dog. You do you remember how Ludacris did some? Yeah. I, 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 and I'm still toilet. mad at Ludacris in real and life. Then I, and then I replied back. I said, nah, homie, my son took my son's PS5. <laughs> and then I sent a picture of his DVD still. He was okay, like, that's cool. That's Gracias, cool. Yeah, that's all yeah don't, don't, don't bust a Ludacris. Because <laughs> that was so believable, bro. I stopped listening to Ludacris for a while. That's how much. I did not like that when it happened. What was his name? Slinky Back? I, I forgot. But that, that's, such a, that's such a good movie. Yeah, how some flow is ridiculous, dog. It's a great movie. Remember that white girl? She's like, I'm in charge, D. 
That's a great. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. It's been a minute. Taranji P. Henson. The she, she's Taraji's in it. Yeah. Taraji, it's so hot out here for a pimp. Yeah. Yeah. Great movie. Hey, do you still Apollo have Paula J. Parker though? When he kicks out the other oh, one with right. the kid. That's right. Remember, he kicked her in the kid. I, no, I cry in that scene. Oh my goodness. Skinny black. Skinny black. Skinny black. Uh, hey, Manny, you, wait, wait, talk before, to me. Before, hey, do you still have that the collection of all the Nintendos and all that stuff? Yeah. Dude, that's worth a lot of money. I'm scared to show it to you. I know. Don't don't show it to me because I'm stealing that shit. Yeah. I might when sell you it, it for some cameras. No, so no, don't buy some. No, dude. I just looked it up for you not that long. Well, the last time I was here, which was 2021. I got something new. It doesn't matter. Look, you have. I remember you had the guns, the I duck hunt guns. New. You have a, a great collection that can go for a lot of money. Yeah, I have something new. Just just don't sell it. So look, so like when you were rich in the early 90s mm. and you had Nintendo, mm -hmm. back then Nintendo made a case where you can go to your friend's house. I know. That's the case that you showed me. Yeah. I did see that. It's a black case. So you can and take it. It's like, a traveling Nintendo Yeah, case. and it has like, oh, what dog. What the fuck is that? Like, Nerdville. I've never seen that shit. Yeah. You Nerdville. have some good stuff, bro. Yeah. Like, if you, they should give you an episode by yourself on Pawn Stars. That's how fucking good well, of dude, Nintendo shit you I know you so have. many tweakers, Pawn Stars would like, the FBI would be there and be like, we need to turn that in. Dude, you had some Imagine if fucking... They had offer up for when the fools were tweaking when we were little. How much money they would have made on offer? Well, that's why I still have my Star Wars. My, my, I still got. Yeah, you're a Star Wars. Fan. I'm a Star Wars dude. But you, had, when you, when you show me that Nintendo stuff, you were the last person that I think would have fucking Legend of Zelda in a gold case. Yeah, like you have that. I have it all. So for all you followers on the George GPS, don't be trying to gaffle this shit. Hey, my boy. So I hate this shit has to come to an end. It is, but we're gonna do this very soon again. Now I have, like you, I'm. We're busy. We're both grinding. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody where your shows are coming out. I got, look, you guys can follow me on the gram, Manny to the Max, M A N N Y, number two, T H E M A X. I'll be doing some cruise ships, but I'll also be in Sacramento. My people, April 14th and 15th, four shows at Laughs Unlimited. And I'm going to pop in on Georgia's show. Yes, at April the Comedy 6th. Store, April 6th. So I'm excited about that. So uh, be on the lookout. I got a lot of fun stuff. Oh. Not bad. And he has a little beat for me while I said that too. <laughs> and, uh, and I have my shows in Cabo San Lucas. Uh, we have a great show, uh, March 25th. My boy Amir K is going to be in the house. Oh, that's the homie right so there. So that's bro. the homie. Uh, he's going to grace us out there in Cabo San Lucas. And uh, it's just a good time, man. Life is good, bro. That's Blessing. what's up. Bless, bless. Blessings on blessings, bro. That's what's up. Thank you for coming Love through, you, my dog. boy. Great Fuck to see you yeah. as always, man. Hey, everybody. Uh, please like and subscribe to the podcast. Go to your mom's phone. Go to your sister's phone. Just grab it and subscribe. Help us get our numbers up. We're going to have short reels coming very soon. We always have a clip out. Uh, this before the only show that I can promote for you guys is March 11th in San Bernardino. I will be with Willie Barsena at the club events, club center events. And April 6th, my birthday show at the comedy store. That's right, guys. April 6th, the comedy store, 1030 in the main room. Check it out. Me, Jay Lamont, Edwin San Juan, Eddie Bravo, Willie Barsena. And Manny Maldonado is going to fucking jump on the show. Be there. Shit is epic. It's a wild coyote reunion. <laughs> right? I would say Pacio, That's what Felipe Esparza Casa said. Latina, and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 I haven't seen Edwin in a long time. I haven't seen Willie. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen Willie since uh, 2019. I did a fundraiser for him. He's killing right now. He's, he's killing it. Willie's killing. Willie. Willie's killing it. That's what's up. I'm excited. Yo, this is George Perez Stories, episode 306. With that being said, number love. Take a shower, brown power, late. Peace.